In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do swipe to send animation. We're gonna start by selecting iPhone frame and then I'm gonna add layout grid. We're gonna go for four columns and I'm gonna add margin of 20 pixels and cutter of 16 pixels. Let's draw a rectangle on the width of our grid and make it rounded corners. And so now I'm gonna move it up to the bottom to match the bottom bar. We're gonna draw a white circle and we're gonna place it far to the left. Let's make sure the padding is equal. In my scenario is six pixels to the left bottom. Next, I'm gonna duplicate that frame and move the circle to the far right. Let's make sure again the padding is correct. Then we're gonna duplicate the same frame one more time and this time we're gonna place our circle in the middle and also we're gonna change the rectangle behind so I want this to be in a circle shape so let's change the width and again let's match our padding so it's equal. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that circle to the top and change color to green. So let's move it to the top and let's make it slightly bigger. I'm gonna use Font Awesome Icons plugin to get the two icons. One of them is check and one of them is arrow right. I'm gonna start with the right arrow and I'm gonna place it inside the first white circle. Let's make sure it's in the middle. Then the check icon I'm gonna place in our gray circle and I'm gonna change the color to the white and make it slightly bigger. I'm gonna add text swipe to send on the first rectangle and next I'm gonna add a couple more elements and let's go into prototype. So for prototype we wanna animate the first rectangle with on drag animation. I'm gonna change animation to be smart animate with curve is in and out. Next we want a second frame to animate after delay to the third frame and this time I'm gonna use animation with gentle curve and we're gonna change the delay of 100 milliseconds. And that's it, our prototype is ready. So we drag to swipe and then it's popping up.